Welcome again. My name is Dr. Thomas Joseph, course instructor for our C215 Operations Management course. We have been doing the short videos on the resource planning concept from chapter 14. We will address the enterprise resource planning systems, which is ERP. We talk about our material requirements planning. And the final piece of our video series, we'll be talking about capacity requirements planning. Take a listen. I hope you enjoy this. This is great information as you prepare for your course. Thank you. So we're going to look at the concept of capacity requirements planning. And as I mentioned in, in uh, our enterprise resource planning discussion and our capacity requirements planning this all or materials requirements planning discussion, I mentioned that the understanding of each of these terms are in the terms themselves. If you break down the terms word by word, you can quickly understand those. So as we said in ERP, we said enterprise is the business. It's the company. It's the firm. It's the organization. It has resources. Its resources are its material and its capacity. And the planning piece is simply how does the company manage those, those resources to get the most efficient outcome? Same thing with capacity requirements planning or materials requirements planning. I try my best not to mix up the two. MRP, materials, the company's materials or its supplies, right? What it requires or needs, specific time, certain occasions, and then plans are made for that. Okay, so for example, a company is going to build a specific product. Do we have the necessarily the necessary materials or supplies to build that? A manager wants files from a for a specific client. How do we have all those clients' files um, accurate and up to date? So now we enter into the the concept of capacity requirements planning, and we can simply break down the term like we did um, for capacity for materials requirements planning. Capacity, right? My capacity deals with workers and equipment or machines, right? Machines and equipment are also workers because they, they function like workers because they do the work, right? Um, what we, What is required, right? Capacity that's required or needed and then plans are made in reference to what is needed. So think about this. Think about this for a moment. You have you have been assigned to work on a project, right? Now you think and say, I need five people to help me work on this project. That's the capacity that you require. So now you make plans based on that. Who, who, what specific people do I need? I will use A, B, C, D, E, F people. These are the people that I'm going to use. So you specify, um, you make plans in reference to what you need. So capacity requirements planning determines the labor and machine or capacity resources needed to fill the open plant orders generated by the MRP. Again, the you have a project to complete in our example, right? That's you've already accumulated or, or, or gathered your materials, right? Based on what you needed for the project. Now you need the workers or the machine or the labor and machine to do the work. So capacity requirements planning is concerned about the who. Material requirements planning is concerned about the what. What do we need? The things, the tangible and probably intangible things that are needed or required. Capacity requirements planning focuses on the who, the labor, the work, the people, the specialized, the semi-skilled, the skilled, the specialists that are needed. So for example, let's get into a hospital environment. There is a surgery that is scheduled for a patient in three days, right? John Doe is having knee surgery in three days. The surgical team has to determine who are the specialists 
that are needed for John Doe's surgery. And based on that requirement, they find from each department, anesthesia, radiology, cardiology, the surgeon, they find the different people, the number of nurses, they find the number of people and the, the, the specific people that needed and required for that. And so decisions on capacity requirements planning are made based on the who. So what is the role of capacity or CRP in the organization? Number one, it is to check that enough work is scheduled for operations, enough work or workers, enough labor and machine has been scheduled for the operation. Whatever is going to be done, we've already had the materials. Now there is a need to have the workers or the labor and the machine to complete the work. Secondly, is to check that the amount of work is feasible. So whatever needs to be done, it is in process or well designed and defined to be done. It's feasible. It's doable, right? So the decision to do something is relative to two things. What I have to do it and who I need to do it. It's conditioned on both of those things, right? So for example, let's go back to our example that we use about John Doe's surgery. John Doe is having surgery in three days, right? Remember, we have assembled all the people that are needed for that specific surgery, knee surgery for John Doe. We have everybody. We have all people from anesthesia, cardiology, wherever we need people, we're, we're good. Day three gets here. The surgery is scheduled for 9 o'clock a.m., day three. We got a message. There's a message that comes out and say, hey, such and such a person from anesthesiology can, cannot, uh, is not available for 9 a.m., but that individual will be available for 12 p.m. that same day. What happens? The hospital or the head of the surgery has to make a decision and say, okay, we need to tell John Doe that we have to postpone his surgery to 12 o'clock from 9 o'clock. Why? Because by 9 o'clock, our capacity requirements planning says we're missing someone from anesthesia, from, from the anesthesia team. So we cannot do that surgery without that individual. All of us, the work is not feasible. It is feasible three hours from the scheduled time. So capacity requirements planning, check that the amount of work is feasible. Uh, 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 is this project doable with five people? Is this assignment, can this assignment be accomplished with 10 workers? If we can, move on. If we can't, find out what needs to be done. Make the changes that are necessary. So capacity requirements planning is crucial to managing the enterprise resources. All right, thank you for listening. I hope this was very informative to you as you learned about capacity requirements planning. This uh, topics are very important to your learning as we cover and review materials from our text in relation to chapter 14, resource planning, enterprise resource planning, capacity requirements planning, and material requirements planning. Three important objectives for your objective assessment. I hope these sessions have been very informative to you. And again, if you have questions or you have concerns, be, for, be sure to reach out to your course instructor. You can always send us an email at operations at wgu.edu. Thank you. I hope you have a good day and stay safe in everything that you do. Bye-bye.